King's kids are glad that the members of God's royal family are able to join us again today. I am Arnie from Arnie's Shack. Uh, do you like Christmas time? Uh, I think it's a pretty fun time of the year. Uh, I always love stopping and remembering that Jesus came to the earth as a baby uh, because of his great love for all of us. Uh, the angels were very excited too and an amazing angel choir came to welcome the newborn king. Uh, that is the story that we will be looking at today, King's Kids. Uh, it is about the special angel choir singing to welcome Jesus. Uh, you can read the story in Luke chapter 2. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with it.
brings light to our world. Hi everyone, my name is Nurse Betty. One of the things I love to do is to teach boys and girls how to stay healthy. Today, I'd like to talk with you about visiting the dentist. The dentist is a doctor who has been specifically trained to care for your teeth. So when you visit your dentist for a checkup, your dentist will look at your teeth and gums to check to see if there are any problems. The dentist also wants to make sure your teeth are developing properly as you grow. It's important that you visit your dentist every six months to make sure you're taking good care of your teeth and that your teeth and gums are healthy. When you go to the dentist, you get to sit in a big recliner chair which has a bright light above it so the dentist can see into your mouth. The dentist cleans and polishes your teeth using tiny dental tools like a tooth scraper, mirror and a special toothbrush. The tooth scraper removes plaque from your teeth Plaque is a thin, sticky layer that grows over your teeth and contains bacteria. This needs to be removed so your teeth don't decay and develop a cavity, which is a hole. If they find a hole, they have a special process to remove the decayed part of the tooth and put in a filling so that you don't have a toothache. It is important that you brush and care for your teeth every day. Eat healthy food and avoid eating lots of sugary foods. Boys and girls, remember that Jesus loves you. Take care of your body and take care of each other. G'day there, King's Kids. Welcome to Get Active with PJ. Today, we're going to do some more exercises. So everybody get up and let's join in. We're going to do some arm stretches. So stretch your arms, one side and then the other side and marching at the same time. Can you do this, boys and girls? Stretch that arm out and march. And the other arm, hold in that position. Keep on going. Stretching and marching. Two things at the same time. Are you keeping up, boys and girls? Okay, now we're gonna try another exercise. We're gonna try our hopping on one leg. Can you hop on one leg, boys and girls? And try the other leg. And do it in circles. Keep on hopping. Swap back and try your other leg again. Turning in circles as well. Hopping and swapping. Swapping to the other leg. And hopping. And hopping. And hopping. Now hopping and swapping to the other leg. And turning round in circles. Hopping around, and swap, and hop. Anyway, boys and girls, that was a really fun exercise, boys and girls. I'm a bit tired. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, boys and girls. It's Granny Grace here again with another story from God's special book. Who loves Christmas? I do. And one of the things I love about Christmas is singing Christmas carols. One of my favourite carols is called Angels We Have Heard on High. This song tells us about some very special angels who visited our earth for a very special reason. I can just imagine the excitement in heaven when the angel choir was told they were going to announce the birth of Jesus on earth, their Jesus, with a special song. I'm sure the melody was beautiful and majestic. I'm sure the words were chosen with care. Finally, the long-awaited night came and the angel choir winged its way toward earth. You would expect that God would send them to the busiest place on earth to make this great announcement that Jesus, the Messiah, the Promised One, had been born. But no! Instead, God sent them to the dark and lonely hillsides near Bethlehem. 
There was no big audience for the angel choir, just a few shepherds and a flock of woolly sheep. But God had chosen these shepherds to hear the angel choir. These shepherds had been studying the scriptures. They knew the promised one, the Messiah, would come soon. They were waiting for him. Gabriel, the lead angel, suddenly appeared in a dazzling light. The shepherds hid their faces. They pulled their cloaks over their heads. They trembled with fear. Then Gabriel spoke. Do not be afraid. I have good news for people everywhere. Today, the Saviour was born in Bethlehem. You will find him wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Slowly, the shepherds peeked out from beneath their cloaks. An angel choir filled the whole sky. With joyful hearts, the angels sang, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and goodwill to people everywhere. Then gradually they faded away. Come on, said one shepherd, let us go to Bethlehem and find the baby the Lord has sent. As they hurried off to find baby Jesus, I like to think that the angel choir sang praises all the way back to heaven. Boys and girls, singing is a way we can worship Jesus too. You can sing at church, at home, in the car, in fact, anywhere. Why don't you sing a song of worship and praise to Jesus today? Today's memory verse is, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Luke 2.10 Hi, my name's Josiah. And I'm Zane. Today we're going to make a musical instrument craft so we can praise God. The things you need are some glass jars or bottles, a marker pen, some water, and something to hit the jars. Mark the bottles at different heights. This will help you get different notes. We've already done it. Next, put the food colouring in. Red to drop. Orange. Two drops of yellow and one drop of red. Yellow, three drops. Green, four drops. Blue, five drops. How do you read purple? Two drops of red and four drops of blue. Only up to the line.
And our last one. And now we can make music to praise God. We worship God while singing songs of praise. Why don't you try making one at home? Well, good day there, King's Kids. It's great to be with you again. Can I ask you a question? How long has it been since you sat outside in God's beautiful creation and listened to the song that it sings? Yes, that's right. Nature sings songs of praise to God who created it. Whether it is the calming sounds of waves along the shore, rain dripping on a roof, the songs of birds singing, or the wind playing in the leaves, Nature has a lot of praise to sing about the Creator who planned and designed its beauty. Have a listen to these amazing bird songs. That's the Australian kookaburra. And here are some more bird sounds. And what about the frogs? Even these flowers, though they may not make a sound, silently sing wondrous praise. Did you also know that researchers have found that listening to songs of nature can help us relax and be more attentive? They've also found it can help us sleep better and increase our positive feeling. So King's Kids, take some time to go outside, tune up your ears and listen to the melodies nature is singing. We may not be surrounded by an angel choir, but we can be surrounded by a creation choir. We worship when we sing songs of praise. And as Richard Ross said, nature is the one song of praise that never stops singing. So let's join in together and be sensational. Let us go straight to Bethlehem then and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has made known to us. Uh, that was a really interesting reading, wasn't it, Andy? Oh, it sure was. <laughs> hey, how about uh, we pray? Dear God, please guide us. Thank you. Hey, Andy, I'm going to start the summary today. Today's um, passage was from Luke 2, 8 to 15. There were some shepherds in a paddock one night um, when an angel suddenly appeared and frightened them. 
The angel told them that Jesus had been bored and told them to go and find him in a manger in a stable and worship him along with all of heaven. Yeah, they all were praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. The angels finished singing and then went back to heaven. The shepherds said, let's go straight to Bethlehem and see this baby. Shane, let's do the Discovery Bible questions, shall we? Cool, yeah, let's do them. What's new? Well, Andy, I've heard this story so many times that I'm not sure that there is something new for me. Oh, yeah, Shane, I have heard it lots as well but we can still get something out of reading and studying it again, can't we? Yeah, yeah, you're right, Andy. Hey, Andy, what surprises you? Well, I'm surprised that the shepherds were scared of the angel. Uh, but I guess if an angel appeared to me, I might be scared as well. I've never seen an angel before. Yeah, I think I would be scared as well, especially in the dark. And then suddenly it was light. Yeah. So what don't you understand? Well, Andy, what I don't understand is why the angels went only to the shepherds in the paddocks. Well, Shane, everyone deserves to know the good news about Jesus so we can all sing praise to God and worship him. Hey Andy, what will you obey or reply? Oh, I'm going to worship and praise God, thanking him for the gift of his son. What are you going to share with someone this week? Well Andy, I'm going to share the Christmas story, um, the real one, uh, with everyone this week. Oh, that's a great idea Shane. Everyone needs the opportunity to praise God. Let's pray. Yeah, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for your word. Help us to follow you. Amen. Amen. See you next time, Shane. Yeah, see you next time, Andy. Bye. to the shepherds that night. Uh, but it was not just good news for the shepherds. Uh, this is good news for everyone. Uh, the angels love being able to worship and praise their God. And we too can worship and praise him. Oh, I love what Ranger Hardy showed us today uh, about how we can go out in nature and listen to the amazing sounds of God's creation, praising their creator. Uh, take some time each day to listen to God's creation choir. 
Uh, there may be a little bird singing praises somewhere near you right now. Uh, or the wind may be rustling the trees near you. Or maybe the rain is dripping from the roof. Uh, singing is a way we can worship and praise God too. I uh, like the angel choir that welcomed the baby Jesus. Uh, do you know some Christmas carols uh, that you can sing to worship and praise Jesus? I love being able to sing Christmas carols. It is one of my favourite things to do at Christmas time. As I look back and remember that baby Jesus came to earth because of his great love for us. Are you going to share the real Christmas story with someone this week? Uh, like Shane and Andy are? Uh, it's the best news ever. Uh, anyway, it's time to go now, King's Kids. Uh, I look forward to catching up with all of you again next time. Uh, so take care, stay safe, and God bless.